Hi, my name is Bill Keith. I live in Southern California, and I'm part of this group called Businessman's Fellowship. Today, I'd like to share a portion of my life story. I grew up in New Jersey in a very dysfunctional home. My father was abusive to my mother and abusive mentally to myself and my siblings. My father was a man who was terrorized, and he terrorized us. It was alcoholism and gambling and womenizing that were his vices. My father was teaching us to be like him. At the age of 11, I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I'm thankful for some men who were able to influence me and stop me from going over the edge but yet I ran from God. At the age of 13, my father left the home and I found men to influence me. The problem was they had a negative influence also. Some of them were worse than my dad and I was on my way to becoming like them. At the age of 19, I moved to Southern California. It was there where I met some men who had a relationship with Jesus. And they invited me to come to a banquet where a mafia man was going to share his story. I went and I heard Joe Donato share how God and the Holy Spirit helped him leave the mafia and change his life radically. At the end of that meeting, I went forward and I asked Joe how to get the Holy Spirit in my life. He said, Bill, raise your hands and invite the Holy Spirit to come and to fill you. He will do just that. God changed my life miraculously. The way I thought was no longer like I used to. I began to hunger and thirst to know God. God began to chip away the hard spots in my life. I plugged into this group where I was discipled by the men of Businessmen's Fellowship. They taught me how to be a good father, a loving father. They taught me how to be a loving husband, how to be an honest businessman through fellowship. That iron that sharpens iron, like the Bible talks about, is real. God can do that through life stories, BMF, and also BMF meetings that we have regularly throughout the United States and in different parts of the world. I hope you would receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit and his infilling, that he can change your life. If you're struggling, give it a try. Give him a try. He loves you and wants to help you. God bless you.